Let's go back to the original test script uh, where we had, oh, I see we have uh, mentioned two test kits then we ran three, never mind. The main point is here that we wanted to add a diagnostic message. So we wanted to add, print out something, uh, just say that we are going to test a uh, certain kind of feature, for example, two parameters or three parameters. And then we use the diag function to that. Uh, when you run the test, you can see that uh, it prints out add two numbers, add, add three numbers with a pound sign in front, with a DS in front of it, uh, which uh, a regular print could, could do as well, but uh, using diag is much better because uh, it means that even if the tap function, if the tap uh, the, uh, protocol changes, uh, it will uh, work out uh, correctly. And there is another function called note that behaves seemingly the same. So as you can see, running the test script, again we get add two numbers and add three numbers printed out. The difference is if we run it under the harness using proof. So running directly, both diag and note print out the messages. But if you are running using proof, then you can see that only the first one, only what Diag printed, uh, only that prints out. So you can see only the add two numbers in the output, not the add three numbers. That's because using note will, and using proof will hide the note messages. So you can decide whether you prefer to uh, have always printed uh, or only when uh, when someone is uh, looking uh, more in depth in the test results. Now, let's see uh, something else. What happens, one of the main uses of Diag is actually printing out content of variables, especially even uh, for debugging or the reporting test results. So let's create three, here three variables, uh, a scalar, $x is just a scalar with some string, uh, $y is a, a reference to an array, and uh, the percentage age is a, is a hash uh, with, a, with a key value pair, and it's actually a deeper hash because the second key, the numbers key, uh, has a, a value which itself is a, uh, is a reference to an array. Let's fix this uh, part here. A parenthesis is there. And so we have these variables some, from somewhere we are getting them. And um, let's print them out. So if you're using Diag with all, all three variables, uh, then it's just like print. So what would print uh, produce if you give it a, a reference to an array? It would print out array and uh, the address of the memory, and the hash will be even worse. So the hash could be sort of fixed by giving a reference to, to the hash, to, but then again it's just printing out hash, the address of the, of the hash. There is where uh, the third keyword that uh, I'm showing you today comes in, there's the explain keyword. It works like data dumper, basically. So we have to put it before the uh, diag. And as you can see, it prints out the, diag the, the, the dumped data for the whole content in fairly readable format. And what happens with, with scalars? So we can put uh, explain in front of both scalars and when you're running it, surprisingly, it will recognize that the second one is an array reference, printed out as an array reference. But the first one, notice that it's a scalar, uh, and it doesn't try to print out some kind of a reference of a scalar, it prints out as it is. So, uh, Diag, Note, and with both of them using explain can be exp uh, extremely useful, telling people all kind of information, either for debugging, or if you have a long drumming test, a couple of tests, you can warn the people up front that this test is going to take a long time and um, so they can expect they won't uh, feel that it, it's stuck or, or something. Um, so that's a couple of uses for both Diag and, and Note and together with, with Explain.